This will be a really quick video on limits at infinity. We're just going to look at the uh, easy examples in this video. So let's start by looking at the limit as x approaches infinity. Uh, let's say 3x squared plus 2x plus 10 over 5x squared minus 6. Then we're going to look at the limit as x approaches negative infinity, let's say. And we'll look at uh, 4x to the 7th minus 2x over x to the 10th plus 5. And over here we'll look at the limit as x approaches infinity, so making them up. Uh, we can do this 3x plus 2, x to the 4th plus 5. And then one more, let's look at the limit as x approaches infinity of how about uh, ooh, x to the 10th plus 5 over x to the 9th minus 1. So in this uh, video, I'm not going to show any work. I'm just going to show you some tricks to uh, get the answers. So in this first limit, we have a polynomial over a polynomial. In fact, in all of the limits, we have a polynomial over a polynomial. And x is approaching infinity in this case, infinity in this case, and infinity in this case. In this case, negative infinity, no big deal. The degree here, use a different color, the degree here in the denominator is 2. The degree in the numerator is 2, right? It's the biggest exponent. When that happens, when they're the same number, the answer is the ratio of the leading coefficient. So this is equal to, got to squeeze in the equal sign, 3 over 5. Equal to 3 over 5. Over here, the degree in the denominator is 10. The degree in the numerator is 7. When that happens, the answer is 0. Over here, again, bigger on the bottom. It's 4. Here it's 1, so the answer is 0. So if the degrees are the same, it's just this fraction, 3 over 5. If it's bigger on the bottom, it's 0. Bigger on the bottom, it's 0. If it's bigger on the top, you have to think a little bit. Well, first of all, x is approaching infinity. So who cares about the 5 and the negative 1? So this is really, I'm just, this is really bad here. We're waving hands. This is uh, not showing any work. It's really this, which is really x. And as x approaches infinity, this approaches infinity as well. So this is equal to infinity. So just a really, really quick video to show you how to compute some limits at infinity without showing any work. So again, if the degrees are the same, so 2, 2, you get 3 over 5. If it's bigger on the bottom, you get 0. And if it's bigger up top, just do something like this. Ignore the numbers and just look at these guys here. Divide them, you get x. As x approaches infinity, you get infinity. I hope this helps.